Hey, you. Yeah, you. Good job. We just wanted to tell you, good mm -hmm. job. You've helped local police capture so many fugitives here on Delmarva each and every Monday. That's right. And today we're back to do it all again. Joining us for this most wanted Monday is, of course, Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Lieutenant, thanks for being here as always. Well, it's wonderful to be here. And you have an update yes, for us. Yes, it's always wonderful to share because your viewers are helping us find people. Mm -hmm. Every week I'm able to come here and give an update that one person at least is off the list and is in custody. And this week was no different. Mm -hmm. We caught Eugenio Recon um, in a local residence about two o'clock in the morning on uh, the end of last week. And he is now in custody. So, Good job. Excellent job, well done. Now, you got a whole fresh list. Yes, I got six more individuals and I'm hoping your viewers are gonna help us find. All righty, well, let's start off with Dean Patrick Brazier. Mr. Brazier, he's wanted in connection with two uh, DUI warrants, um, and one of them involves leaving the scene of an accident. Um, these warrants have been out for several months. Uh, I believe we profiled Mr. Brazier before, so if you have any information on where he is, please call Crime Solvers right away. And next we have Deborah Crump. Deborah Crump is wanted in connection with theft charges, and her last known address was up in Milford, Delaware. And we would be happy to you know, get her picked up if we find her up there. All right, let's take a look at Raymond Hines Jr. Raymond Hines, he is wanted in connection with a uh, DUI and a CDS possession case. <laughs> uh, he's supposed to be right here in Salisbury still, so if anybody knows where Mr. Hines is, please call Crime Solvers. And next we want you to take a look at Clinton Kelly. Clinton Kelly, we've profiled him before. Uh, he has ties to Dorchester County. We have two warrants for him. Uh, one is in connection with a weapons charge and the other one is in connection with motor vehicle theft. So if you see him, uh, please let us know and we will extradite him from just about anywhere in the United States. If you have any information on where he may have moved to, relocated, please call Crime Solvers right away. You're wanting him real bad. Okay, Raheem Lamar Kelly. Mr. Kelly is wanted in connection with, um, he failed to appear for a violation of probation hearing after he was convicted for CDS uh, possession with the intent to distribute. Uh -huh. So uh, we have an interest in getting Mr. Kelly brought in. So if you know where he is, please uh, call Crime Solvers right away. And then we have Holly Lathbury. Yes, Miss Lathbury. Um, this is a case that has been going on since 2009. It is a driving while suspended case. She has failed to show up four times for this case. Mm -hmm. She is a, um, a repeat per, or a repeat failure to, to appear at offender. Right. Um, this time the judge has slapped a $100,000 already preset bond on her for when she is located. Uh, we do believe she's up in the Millsboro area. We have been getting tips on her. So we're very interested in uh, getting her. If anybody else has any more specific inf information on uh, where Ms. Lathbury is, to please call Crime Solvers. And Ms. Lathbury, if you're watching, we're getting tips on you. So please turn yourself in. Okay, now, as you've said before, you've got a couple different ways to share information that you may have. One of those is Facebook. Yes, uh, Facebook, it's remarkable the amount of individuals that are either going to the Facebook page for Crime Solvers of the Lower Eastern Shore or the Facebook pages of our law enforcement partners that profile some of these wanted individuals. And many people are seeing these wanted individuals also on Facebook and sending us messages through Facebook in addition to Crime Solvers. But if you want the money, yes, you've got to go through Crime Solvers. If you want the reward solvers. money, if you want to be considered for the reward money, the, the tip must come through Crime Solvers. And that number is? 410-548-1776. You'll be given a code name and code number and, we'll n and nobody will ever ask your name. All right, we'll see if we can give you somebody else to talk about next week. <laughs> Great, I look forward to it. Thank you for coming in, Lieutenant. Thanks a lot. And of course, if you would like more information on Crime Solvers, go to WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page. As our police fight crime, you already know it can be dangerous. Imagine you being put in a situation where you've got to decide, do I shoot or do I hold fire? Up next, we get a close-up look at a system that's helping officers in that stressful situation. Plus, we hear firsthand from an officer who faced a similar situation. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back. <laughs> 